without further ado, I'm going to wait for the stage uh, and uh, you know, play out. Pretty, with the intensity and style of Kurt Cobain's pale blue 
run two blocks to get home, and I drive off as fast as I can, grab a raincoat and a rain repellent jacket I was planning to give away anyway, and I run back out the door. She's gone, but she can't be far. I walk toward the Haight Street Center where the kids find the solace. From afar, I hear a wail, so I continue. When I arrive, she's on the corner. Now with an umbrella and a watering can containing a flowery plant, still no shoes. I say hi as she backs away from me, and I ask her if she was singing into a trash can earlier. She says yes. I say, I thought so. You seemed upset, and you were getting soaked, so I brought you a rain suit. Thank you, she says in a moment of clarity. She drops the bag containing the rain suit and puts on the jacket, halfway, and walks across the street as the car is rushing toward her. Careful, honey, I yell. The man walks by me in a reflective vest seeing the worried expression on my face as I watched across. Hi, you okay? He says. Yeah, just helping. Misha, he says. Her name is Misha. Everyone helps her. Been here a long time. She's a good person. When she's on her meds, she's a good person. I didn't have it. She's back now in front of me, talking to herself about going to a strip club. He thanks me and enters the corner market on Central. I'm glad people help her. We need to help everybody. Lead by example. February 14th, oh, 24th, 2018. Chinese New Year! Woo! Tourists yelling obscene frustrations crammed in narrow sidewalks like chickens in a factory farm trampling each other on accident, on purpose. Three dragons, flying muppets, and the dog. It's Year of the Dog. Marching bands parading through Union Square. Not enough time to appreciate it all. A fabulously dressed, statuesque man in a wig turns the corner of two-legged cattle and responds to a strange look from an old woman. This is it, honey. I'm gayer than gay. I live in an apartment that costs $24,000. <laughs> Pink petals cover the streets. A man can't get through the edge of the barrier and yells at the Chinese officiant. This is embarrassing. How do I get out of here? Fuck you people! It's not his holiday. <laughs> <laughs> it's not his neighborhood. It's not even his town. A deconstructed dragon is dragged down an alley by at least 20 kids. The lady in the bakery sees my disappointment at her closed sign and promptly opens the door to sell me one last grounding bow. Um, I'm satisfied. A man stumbles up Jackson Street to get home, completely drunk, colliding into poles. More support. Brace yourself. You're going to fall. Just wait at the corner, man. Passing by me, a guy and his girlfriend swirl a light that blazes like fire. I turn around and look down the hill. There's our pretty little gay bridge with lights that never fail. And suddenly I realize I'm at my old house on Leavenworth. Oh, so many memories, my cat's first home. The top floor with the view of the city and its endless possibilities. I loved here. I cried here. And I even saw guys die here. But it brings me peace. The underground trolley tracks grinding away remind me that life and death September 30th, oops, May 18th, 2018. <laughs> Last night I ran into a huge rat gasping for air and bleeding from its mouth on the sidewalk in front of the Safeway on Market Street. I conveniently found a string of dryer sheets in the bushes and I wrapped him or her in it to move to the edge of the dirt for comfort and privacy. I told it that the other side was beautiful, to not be afraid that it was going to be okay soon to say hi to my last rat, Flack, for me. Its breathing calmed down, and I stroked its back and its head for a long while as my friend Les adjusted to me on the phone. Its fur was still warm and soft, softer than the dryer sheets. It felt good to be there at the end, so it wasn't alone, so it wouldn't be so exposed and embarrassed. I guided it across this plane to the rainbow connection I'd experienced twice before. Its pulse slowing down, its warmth fading bit by bit. Black eyes intently fixated on mine. They sailed away at peace. Two pumps walk by. That thing has more fleas than you think. My dog killed it. I say nothing back. They walk away and murmur to each other. That's a nasty bitch right there, nasty.
Which part of us does he live in? Which part of us does he live in? Okay, you know what? Can I ask you a question? That's all you've been doing is asking me questions. Will you do me a favor? No, and if you tell me to smile, I swear I'll punch you in the face. No, I'm not gonna tell you to smile. You should, you should come with me. No, sure, I'm gonna call an Uber, drop you off at home. No thanks. Just come party with me, party, we'll drink. No thank you. Did you have a good Memorial Day? Do you have anything to do in the morning? Yeah. Working? Where do you work? I'm not telling you my life. I don't know you. Why are you being so rude? <sighs> Look, I just woke up. I'm in a zone. Leave me alone, okay? You just woke up? On the street? <sighs> no. Where'd you wake up? <laughs> Come on, I'm staying in the city. So am I! I live here! Okay.
professed his disgust toward humans for providing for them and picking up their shit. I gave it a few seconds thought and sarcastically said, oh, I feel you. I feel the same way about women. Sometimes I'm like, God, shut the fuck up. If women would just stop talking, we'd all be a lot better off, right? He didn't say anything. The rest of the 15 minute run, he's just a boy. <laughs>